Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Munster versus Glasgow. It will be the second semi-final of the 2023-2024 URC um, season. And uh, by the time they take up the field, they'll know exactly what is at stake. The Bulls or Leinster uh, lie in wait for one of these two teams uh, as first takes on fourth. The current champions against a team looking to become the first ever Scottish side in a URC final. So plenty to play for and uh, should be a great game. You know, are we going to see Munster going back-to-back -back finals and potentially even back-to-back -back champions? Well, they're going to have to try and take on a very plucky, a very good, a very disciplined Glasgow Warriors side, which have um, put in some really big performances over the course of the past season and uh, dispatched the Stormers last week. To be brutally honest, with not too much difficulty. At times, the Stormers looked all right, but Glasgow definitely just dominated the game. Um, and I was impressive from them. Before we look at the two teams, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the uh, hope side, which is Munster. And uh, what a team this is, really. Um, look at the front row. It is uh, Jeremy um, Lockman, Niles Scandal, and Stephen Archer. Pretty settled front row. They've been playing a lot of the rugby uh, recently. The second row is backed up by Finan Wishley, who comes into the side next to Ty Byrne. Absolute superstars, Ty Byrne. I think he's one of the best players in the world. I don't think there's a player in the world that is as good at uh, five, you know, four, six, seven, eight. Could probably play anyway, really. Uh, one of the most versatile players in world rugby. Uh, the back row is a very good one of Peter Armani, John Hodnett, and Jack O'Donoghue. What's very important is the fact that they have left a couple players that come off the bench. So that is why the likes of Finn and Wichley are starting, the likes of uh, O'Donoghue starting with uh, some impact coming off the bench, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Craig Casey, one of my favorite players to watch, uh, Craig Casey. Nice, exciting um, scrum up who, who enjoys, uh, you know, sort of uh, enjoys a bit of a snipe, um, enjoys a quick ball, for example. But it was also shown in the past few 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 seasons his game management ability, which which is really, really good. Uh, he's next Jack Crowley, who is one of the top fly halves in the competition at the moment and will be looking to be the number one flyer for Ireland for many years to come if he has his way. Uh, Simon Zebo ships from 15 to the number 11 in what could be his last game. You know, he is retiring at the end of the season, so every time he runs out for this Munster side in the playoffs, it could very well be his last game. What a, what a career he's had. The other rest of the back there is Shane Daly at 14, Mike Haley at 15. In the centres, Alex uh, Nankervel next to the very exciting Antoine Frisch at outside centre. Off the bench, it is Diamond Baron, John Run, Oli Yeager in the front row. Oh, Keith Neymar will be looking to you bring an impact. He's made a bit of a name of himself, hasn't he, in the Springboks bomb squad as an impact player. And Munster very much looking for a similar type of impact this weekend. Um, same with Gavin Coombs, who I cannot understand did not make the URC team of the season. I think he's acting absolutely terrific. Uh, big ball carrier, uh, you know, very physical power player, hard grafter. And uh, to be able to be on Arkes name and Gavin Coombs later on in the game, it's going to be a huge uh, for, for Munster. As is the likes of a Conor Murray, you know, who's, I always talk about, you know, game management. He's second to none, really. Uh, you then got Sean O'Brien and Alex Kendallin finishing up the rest of that bench. If we look at uh, how Glasgow Warriors do start, uh, South African born and raised Carl Stain, who now plays rugby for Scotland, will captain the side. But in the front row, it'll be Jamie Batty, Johnny Matthews, and Xander Ferguson. Uh, a good, good front row. Um, uh, they did struggle a little bit uh, at times against uh, that Stormers last week, but I thought generally were very impressed. Xander Ferguson, in particular, I thought had a very strong game. Uh, Scott Cummings next to Richie Gray in the All Scotland International second row. Matt Ferguson, Rory Dodge, Jack Dempsey. My favorite part about the Glasgow Warriors side is that back row. Very good players there. Matt Ferguson's a big, uh, a, a very good player that I really enjoy watching. Um, Jack James is a good good grafter. He through a lot of work last week in that quarterfinal against the Stormers. Uh, George Horn will partner Tom Jordan in that halfback pairing. As mentioned, Carl Stane will have Sebastian Cantonero in the other wing and Josh Pakai at full back in the centers. It will be the Hugh Pilato combination of Sione Tupolato and Hugh Jones. Um, so a very exciting set of pairing there. Off the bench, it will be George Turner, Ollie Campbell, and Murphy Walker looking to make an impact. Max Williamson, Ewan Ferry, Henko Fenter, the South African uh, flank from the Sharks. Jamie Dovey, Ross Thompson. This is the 6 2 split to try and counteract. That Munster pack, which is so physical and so dominant. Um, and uh, I don't think too many teams, two people are actually giving Glasgow Warriors much of a chance. So in terms of my prediction of uh, of Munster versus Glasgow Warriors, again, I'm kind of backing the Mun the home side. I think Munster, I've got far too much in it. Uh, it'll be a performance of a lifetime, I think, if Glasgow Warriors were to get through. But they've got good players, Glasgow Warriors. And I think if they start well, you know, they've got a good attacking threat, but they need their stars to stand up. Uh, Carl Stane is somebody who hates kicking the ball, loves to run it, for example. Sebastian Cancellera, give him a bit of space, got a lot of pace. Um, but the, for me, the combination is about the, the, the forwards matching Munster, giving this backline a platform, because I think Hugh Pilato can cook. I think they can really bother a lot of defences. Um, but if they don't front up, if um, Jamie Batty, Johnny Matthews, and Xander Ferguson don't match 
you know, their, their, their counterparts, then I think Munster will potentially even have quite a, a comfortable victory. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.